This is Cobra and the Lotus. What's up? Uh, How you doing, man? Uh, my name is Charlie Parra del Riego. I play guitar in Cobra and the Lotus. Yasha Kolakowski. I also play guitar in Cobra and the Lotus. I'm Cobra Page, and I sing. Yeah, and, and, and you're one deadly, co deadly Cobra. Oh, well, thank you. Were you born with that name? <laughs> that I can't tell you. <laughs> it's my name. Yeah. have a debut album that came out last August, I believe? Uh, the album actually came out in April in North America, so it's still relatively new. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but it's your second release overall. You had another release before that, didn't you? Um, we had an independent release in 2010, but that's not available right now on the market. So this is the only album you can get, and it's, it's uh, just being released. <laughs> Just, just, just play, play, just, just classic, traditional style heavy metal, man. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, like, like our camera guy, huge there. Uh, uh, it reminded him a bit of Dio. It reminded me a bit of Iron Maiden. Wow. Well, thank you very much. That's awesome. Those are really kind words. <laughs> Now tell me about another song, Welcome to My Funeral. Uh, this song is written about self-sabotage and digging your own grave, so to say, or shooting yourself in the foot. Um, it's really easy to do that. And uh, it's easy, especially if you're fearful of something, to let things get in the way and mm -hmm. stop you and maybe make the wrong decisions for yourself. So um, that one is uh, you're really conducting your own funeral, but pulling yourself out of that. <laughs> Sanctuary. Ah, yes. Uh, sanctuary. Um, sanctuary is actually a lot to do with this industry and the world that we as musicians in the band ha live in because um, this is our family most of the year. The band is our family. We spend most of the time together out of those 12 months and we see so many people every day, but you know, it's, it's people that change and move and uh, you're away from your loved ones a lot, and uh, it's it's a really interesting dynamic because you're around so many people in hundreds and thousands quite often, but you feel very alone a lot of the time. <laughs>
had a trailer break off of our uh, our vehicle uh, on the way to Denver from Kansas, and it like flipped over across the highway into the median. And uh, you might think this is a remarkable story, but the fact is that the exact same thing happened to us two months ago when we were rolling through the states with Fear Factory. Uh, and the circumstance is just crazy for me to think about that. That could happen twice, you know, in a row. And what are the odds? Uh, what are the odds? I don't know. I hope somebody can calculate those because it, it's mar remarkable, really. Yeah, me and Charlie were fast asleep at the front. You should... The bus driver was pretty funny. He was screaming so loud, like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And it was like, what's wrong? My God, what's wrong? God. And we just woke up, and I, I thought that we were, like, going to crash against something or or whatever. But no, the bus trailer just flipped out again, and there were nobody harmed. Uh, the only things that were there were a couple of pedals, so everything went just fine, you know? We were, lu we were lucky two times. Where can people go to get more information about the band? Uh, Cobra and the Lotus .com, and actually our Facebook is the most up-to-date website and page to look at. We're very interactive, always on there. Uh, we have our own musician pages and always updating what we're individually doing during the day. It's all relative to the to the band and the music usually, but really cool. You can kind of see an insight into what's going on all the time. <laughs> It was great to meet you guys. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Thank, Thank you, you very much.